Amen. Amen. So, the first type of vision, there are different types of visions. The first type of vision that I want us to pray for, uh, sit down, sit down for a moment. What I call picture visions, like still photography. Just a picture. There is a saying that a picture is worth a thousand words. So there are many times God just gives a picture. And that picture, you, it's an unmistakable picture. You notice it. You remember it. Amen. Amen. Now, Jeremiah 1.11, it says, Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Jeremiah, what seest thou? Okay, are you having a vision? And, and I said, I see a rod of an almond tree. That's all. A rod of an almond tree. It's a picture, like still photography. As against a movie where the people are moving in the picture. This is something that the things are still. It's just a picture. And there are many times, many of us are having vision, but because like the stars, it has not been pointed out to you, you don't think it's a serious vision because all that he saw was the rod or the stem of a tree. An almond tree, specifically. All right? And he says, Thou as well, saying, apparently it's something that grows very fast. So God was trying to say, You see this thing that is fast, that develops fast. I'm going to do what I'm saying quickly. Wow. That's all. That was what he was trying to say. So it was, it was just, uh, this is not a dream, this is a vision, but it's still photography. Are you watching? As against a movie. Yes. Like movie means moving picture. Yeah. Movie. Wow. Move. E. Oh. That's where it moves. The pictures move. When it was when films were invented, they said we can make the picture move. Okay. Yeah. First they could only take a picture with a pinhole camera. Then at the point they said we can make the picture move. Move E. Wow. Move E. So movie. So when you're starting with your visions, you start just like how man invented pictures. You start with just still, this was Jeremiah chapter 1, his first vision. Yes. And then the second one came up after that. The Lord said to him the second time, said, what seest thou? And he said, I see a seething pot or a boiling pot. And the face thereof is towards the north. So I see a pot boiling and the steam is going towards the north. That's all. That's another still photography picture. Yes. It's not moving. Yes. And there you go. Suddenly you are having direction. You are having information. You are having something. So everybody, every close your eyes right now. You see you may you be surprised that you are seeing something but you see because you are not trained to see yeah. yes and there are times that you close your eyes and you see something okay open open now please <laughs> very dangerous to close your eyes at such times <laughs> please please you can't be closing your eyes later yes <laughs> So, during this pandemic, Hallelujah. you are going to develop in vision. Now, everyone should expect visions. Why? Because you have the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Bible says, I'll pour out my spirit on all flesh. Wow. And you will have visions and dreams. All flesh, not only on Levites. All flesh. And once you are flesh, and the spirit comes on you, these things are going to begin. Visions. We've spoken about dreams. And we've prayed for dreams. Now we are praying for visions. So from now, in your prayer times, as you become conscious, you know, I saw a picture. It didn't move. Just, I just saw sometimes of somebody. Of something. And it comes to you as a still photograph. 
still photography. We have a still photography ministry. Yeah. Just that. I see a tree. I see a coffin. I see a car. I see an accident. You see different things. There are pictures. God showing you. And those things, they are guidance for your spirit. So when we say, watchman, what of the night? What do you see? You see, all these years, I need people that are activated with visions and dreams and the perception, their eyes, full of eyes, Zoe's. Zoe's. Full of eyes. Are you with me? So when your eyes are open, you, it, it, your levels change so much. Your whole level of everything changes when your eyes are open. Yeah. So I think today's prayer may be one of the most important we have ever prayed. Yes, that our eyes, the eyes of our hearts be open. Yes, the eyes of our hearts be open. And that we become Zoe's, full of life, living creatures. Amen. Now we are going to pray for the next vision. Now we prayed for four types of dreams for Joseph. Now we are praying for maybe, I don't know, four types of visions. Audio visions. Oh, okay. Audio visions. Audio vision. Visions where you just hear okay. voices from God. Like Genesis 15 verse 1. And after these things, the word of the Lord came to Abraham in a vision. Wow. Wow. He was in a vision, but the word of the Lord came. Saying, fear not, Abraham. I am thy shield and thy exceeding great reward. It was a vision, but he was just hearing a voice from God. And Abraham said, Behold, Lord God, what wilt thou give me, seeing I go childless? And the steward of my house is this Eliezer of Damascus. And Abraham said, Behold, to me thou hast given no seed. And lo, one born in my house is mine heir. Hallelujah. And behold, the word of the Lord came unto him, saying, This shall not be thine heir, but he that shall come forth out of thine own bowels shall be thine heir. Amen. Amen. And he brought him forth abroad and said, Look toward heaven and tell the stars, if thou may be able to number them. And he said, So shall thy seed be. Wow. So he never saw, the only thing he saw were the physical stars wow. that God told him. But he was having a vision. And the vision was an audio vision. So we have come from still photography to audio visions. What do you think? Do you want God to open your eyes and touch you so that you see and hear? Yes, every standing. Quickly, let's pray about this one quickly so that we can move on to more visions and dreams ah, of the Lord. Kan beleza mandona mandarada, palamanda, predelema, shamanda, bakaba, malegedeba, kubogodeleba, na malala bakaba. In the name of Jesus, Amen. Sit down. The next one: is visions of angels. You know, one of the main creatures that are exist in the world we cannot see are angels and angels are beings mm. that god allows to see you know your life becomes inter- you know there is almost no spiritual life until you start to see and hear from god we are in this ministry because the lord spoke to me and said from today you can teach it's something that I experienced and I believed. There's hardly any, an audio vision, there's hardly any uh, thing or person, whether it's Jeremiah, whether it's Isaiah, whether it's Ezekiel, whether it's Abraham, whether it's Jacob, who did this, nothing like a vision. It's all, there's always something like that. Yeah. Otherwise, it, it, the person never becomes anything. You never hear of the person. It's your first contact or higher level contact with the supernatural. It's visions and dreams. 
And I always had Yongicho speaking. They always used to use the word visions and dreams. Your visions and dreams. Your visions and dreams. You always, you always used to talk so your visions and dreams. Your visions and your dreams. Your visions and dreams. So you are supposed to be having visions and dreams. Yes. For your life to become something. Now visions of angels. Things are changing. Amen. You are going to see angels and you are going to speak to angels. Angels are going to speak to you. There was a certain man in Caesarea called Cornelius, a centurion, a Roman soldier. Can see an angel, then what about you? Ah, a devout man, one that feared God with all his house and which gave much alms to the people and prayed to God always. Verse 3. And he saw in a vision evidently about the ninth hour of the day an angel of God coming into him and saying unto him, Cornelius. And when he looked on him, he was afraid and he said, What is it, Lord? And he said unto him, Your prayers and your arms have come up for a memorial before God. An angel said it. Yes, your offerings have been noticed in heaven. Amen? Amen. Is it exciting? exciting. So, expect to see angels. Visions of angels. Your eyes are going to be open. Yes. Once you start to have dreams and visions. Dreams and visions. One time I was on a flight KLM. I was sitting alone in the plane there. And I think I was at the front so there was nobody in front. There was no, there were, in front was this divider. And suddenly I saw somebody on my, on my, this side. What side is this? Left. Wearing blue. I always remember. Light blue. And you never forget it. Certain things. He was sitting there coolly. Wow. He was flying with me. Mm. <laughs> yes. He was wearing this long blue. Light blue something. Yeah, a bit like what I'm wearing. I don't know if this is blue. But there are angels. And God is opening your eyes to see angels. To hear, evidently. And the more we pray, the more we are going to see. The famous prophet Abraham, that was it. He came into a room and he saw this angel and a light appeared. And the, and the angel said to him, your unusual life and the experiences you have had are part of your calling. And you have been called to do this. Just a short something. That was Abraham. Everybody who God has used, there is some kind of scene. And the person's eyes are open in a way. Yes. And then it starts. So this is the beginning of a river flowing during this pandemic. It seems that God is using the pandemic to, 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 to take us higher. Yes. I'm going to take you higher. Some people used to sing there's a song, I'm going to take you high. They were talking of smoking, weed, and cocaine. I'm going to take you high. But Jesus is taking us high in the spirit. Every standing. Pray for angel, visions of angels. Quickly, it's a short one. Paka Mandola Makabalanda Malom Barabada Every walking Get your get your coffee again Your coffee is, is finished Get another one or tea And a biscuit if you need biscuit Bite it Don't go and make eggs Just a bite And then we are continuing this not, don't, go, go, don't go and fry sausages we are, I don't mean sausages I mean just a bite of a biscuit To keep you awake Every praying, lift your hands. Kambala, we are praying for visions of angels. Rambala Maba, Kambola de 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 de. Hale Ramanda, da be de de be de. Bala Manda, Malende de meke baranda ni mamanda. Hala mara bala ba, hala mara bala ba da, hala mara bala bala da bala da. Hara Manda ni mande de de be de 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 be de de. Hale Rimanda ni do be de de. Adaram, 
Holy hands, holy hands, holy hands, holy hands. Mandala Magabala, Malani Marilene. We are going to pray for trances. Amen. Do you want to have a trance? Why not? It's not voodoo. It's in the Bible. It's in the Bible. We're going to fall into trances. Amen. Now, on the morrow, all right, as they went on their journey, Acts chapter 10, verse 9, and drew nigh unto the city. This is Peter's only vision. Peter's only vision that we read of. Isaiah had only one vision. So when you read the Bible, you get a feeling that's like vision every day. No. It's not like that. Isaiah, only one. Isaiah, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me. It's all Isaiah. Arise and shine, your light has come. Comfort ye. Uh, uh, the mountain of the Lord in the last days, the mountain of the Lord shall be established. People shall come. It's all Isaiah. Come, let us reason together. It's Isaiah. No weapon formed against me is Isaiah. And to you a son shall be given, born. His name shall be wonderful, 
counselor. By his stripes we are healed. Uh, how beautiful on the mountains are the feet of them that bring. He had only one vision. Isaiah 6, one vision, finish. And the rest was speaking. So you, it's not to you. You have people come to church. Have you, have you seen a vision about me? They want to, you to have conjure up a vision. Yes, that's what creates false, false prophets. Yes. Pressure to have a vision when there is no vision. Isaiah had one. Peter had this one. Now, notice. On the morrow, as they went on their journey and drew nigh to the city, Peter went to the house top to pray at the sixth hour, which apparently is noon, 12 o'clock. Now, he became very hungry. So, whenever you are doing something spiritual, your flesh is a real drag, dragging you left or right. Okay? But while he made ready, he fell into a trance, which is the Greek word ecstasy. Ecstasy. Ecstasis. You get it? Where you go into a state of bewilderment and a suspension of your normal thinking. Are you there? So you are going to begin to have ecstasy. Not with drug or cocaine. Oh, no, no, no. Or with petidine. Or any of these wicked things. Uh, amphetamine and uh, whatever. The drugs, they take glue. Oh. Tramadol. Hey. Hey. So, he, felt, he fell into an ecstasy. Are you there? And he saw heaven open when he was hungry, waiting to eat. He wasn't fasting. He was about to eat. So God can move when you are not fasting. Do you get what I'm saying? I'm just saying that he was on a fast. Though. He was about to eat. They were making food for him. He was waiting for his food when the vision came. Yes. So, you find out that you find out that as you are even eating your biscuit, you see that you'll be going higher in the spirit. Now he saw heaven opened and a certain vessel descending. And again, this is not a still photography thing. There's movement. It's movie. Movie. It's movement. There's movement. As it had been a great sheet knit at the four corners and fell down to the earth, wherein were all manner of four-footed beasts of the earth. Somebody's ministry is beginning from today. And wild beasts and creeping things and fowls of the air. And there came a voice to him, rise Peter, killing it. And Peter said, no, I don't eat pork. I've never eaten pork. Those of you who say you don't eat pork. I don't eat anything that is common or unclean. And the voice spoke unto him again the second time. What God has cleansed, call not thou common. This was done thrice. And the vessel was received up again into heaven. Now, verse 17. There's a normal reaction to your visions. While Peter doubted. You see, now while Peter what? Doubted. Doubted. It's the normal response to your visions and dreams is to doubt. Ah, Is this a real thing that I saw? Or was I imagining? Yes. Amazing. Amazing. He was doubt. He doubted mm. in himself. The word there's doubt. Mm. What this vision should mean. Suddenly, people came, and then things happen, and then you now begin to understand the visions and dreams that you've been given. For instance, this year, a vision and a dream that I had many years ago became clear to me. Because when I had the vision and dream, I didn't understand what it meant. I'm not going to tell you what it was. And I'm not going to tell you what became clear to me. But it was a vision and a dream that I had. Yeah. So many visions and dreams, you understand them when they happen. But it comforts you in the sense that you know that God knows. God knew. 
Yeah. Even when he was telling you, you don't even understand what he's saying. Sometimes you can't understand because your mind cannot reach there. Now God said to him, arise, kill and eat. So I believe that there are things that God is going to make you do that you can't even imagine yourself doing. You get it? I mean, for those who don't eat pork, they really don't want to eat it. It's like it's really a problem. Like, no, 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 at all. I've never seen any animal that some people don't really want to eat. That it's also nice. Those of you who don't eat pork, you are really missing. <laughs> huh? Yeah, it, it can really work. So, there's something new, amazing, turn around. All for ministry. This was his whole ministry. He was going to the Gentiles. Wow. This, this vision made him go to people that he wanted to normally relate with. If you know Jews, you will know that they really see us as Gentiles. You know there are some tribes or some nations. They really they are, they are, they see outsiders as outside. <laughs> yes, they have a name for you, a place for that. It's like you are outside. And that's how Jews are. So God was turning Peter like this. He said, no. Go. I'm going to use you. And that's when he preached how God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost. One of his most famous sermons. The Holy Ghost and power who went about doing good and healing us. At this same Acts chapter 10. A bit further down verse 38. Then he preached this. He was just about to preach this. He wouldn't have preached that sermon. If God hadn't given him that vision. Yes. Many years ago, somebody invited me to, to preach. And I said I wouldn't go because I had heard that it was the dangerous place. But I had a dream. Sitting up in a chair. Very cramped in a seat. In a plane. And in the, in the dream. After the dream, I knew that I had to go. As soon as I arrived, I said I will go. Even if I die, I will come there. Yeah, and I and I, I genuinely thought I, I would die. The second time I went there, I knew I knew I was dead. I knew I was dead because I saw somebody walking towards the stage with a gun. Then later I found out it was a camera, but I, I it looked like a gun. <laughs> yeah, but I was sure I was dead. And the first time after I had that dream, when I, I was met on the plane by soldiers with guns, and I knew that I'd made a mistake in coming. But it was because of my dream that made me go there. To the, one of the greatest events of my whole ministry. Yes. So, ladies and gentlemen, we are praying, you know, for visions, trances. Yes. Where things are suspended and then you see things. It moves. You are in it. A trance is when you are in it and you are watching. So he was there and he was being asked to eat and he was watching himself being asked to eat and he was watching himself saying no. That's a trance. Because how can you see yourself acting? So your senses must be suspended and then you must see. Amen. So many, as I'm speaking, so many Examples come to my mind, but it will turn into a long talking. But just one of them, I remember, I saw myself walking towards an army. And I had seeds in my... I was wondering how I was going to deal with the army. And I put my hand in my pocket and I pulled out seeds. And I threw it at the army and they all fell down. And I was so surprised at the power in the seeds. So then I said, wow, there's a lot of... So I took more seeds. When I threw a sprinkle, it the army was just falling down. Yeah. So God showed me that the seeds are powerful. The seeds, the word, the messages, the camps, the preachings, the songs, the people, the missionaries, the seeds I'm sowing. It's working. I should keep sowing more. Wow. Every standing. The visions and the trances of your ministry, they are coming to pass right now. Holy hands, wherever you are. We are getting to the end of our prayer time. 
just rise up and let's pray seriously concerning your ministry that God should open your eyes just as he opened Peter's eyes and he gave him such a trance and his whole life and ministry began to unfold in the name of Jesus it is happening practically in your life kama mara mandala ba mara ma bele romonda le bole baba mantala mari de bele romale de perendele mandala baba malem bara makapalande re mamandala ba haloma balira baronda beride berede 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 baranali de baranali de baranali de baranali de baranali de baranali de your ministry begins your ministry begins your ministry begins Amanda Lima Kabala Dari Mamanda Hariman Bala Makabala Dari Levenede Hamola Ramanda Libaba Halora Mendele Menele Mekebora Nelevede You may be see that we are coming to the big one now Amen. Amen. Isaiah chapter 6. Visions of the Lord. In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw also the Lord. Amen. I saw the Lord sitting upon a throne, high and lifted up, and his train filled the temple. So we are praying for the spirit of revelation and that our eyes should be open. So that we will begin to see visions of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. We have talked about still photography visions. Yes. And then what? Audio, Audio visions. visions. And now we have come to the movies. The movie. Which are visions of angels. Now visions of the Lord. Now above it stood seraphims. And they cried, holy, holy. And the post of the door moved at the voice. That is the door post moved. Are you there? Yeah. These are visions of the Lord. Mm. Verse 5. Then said I, woe is me. For I am undone. I am a man of unclean lips. And I dwell in the midst of a people of unclean lips. For mine eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. Well, this is a vision of the Lord Jesus, of the Lord. And the reaction to it is the sensation of your wretchedness. So many years ago, I had such a vision. I was standing in church and... We had been fasting for seven days. It was my first ever fast. And um, suddenly someone white, very white, shiny white. I don't mean a white man like your skin. I mean white, white, glistening, appeared on my right. I wasn't sure what it was. But the reaction was that I felt like, excuse me, I don't know, I don't think I can use the word. Let me not use the word. You, are, you know the word I'm trying to use, yes. yes. I felt like feces. Yes. This was the, and I'd been fasting for seven days. I, I was the most spiritual I had ever been since I was born. And I'd been praying for seven days, and yet I felt like, you know what I'm trying to say, which I can't say. Yes. But it's related to feces. <laughs> are you with me yeah. I will never forget that experience it was in a, in a church in, in Accra called Rich Church I was standing at the back and I believe that that is the day that the Lord called me to be an apostle because Paul said have I not seen the Lord it's one of the things to see the Lord but the, the only thing I could say was that I suddenly turned into a debt. Dirty person. So these are visions of the Lord. And perhaps it's related to your calling. So as we pray for these things, we are going to see them. All right. Then in Revelations 1, I was in the spirit on the Lord's day and I heard behind me a great voice saying, I am Alpha and Omega. Hey, 
and I tend to see the voice that spoke to me. Amen? Amen. And I saw seven golden candlesticks and in the midst of the golden candlesticks, I saw somebody that looked like the son of man. You see, visions, you're never sure what you are seeing. Clothed with a garment down to the foot. His head and his hairs were white as wool. Yes, that's what I was trying to say. White as wool. It was white like wool. Yeah. White as snow. But he didn't see any face or anything like that. But I just saw the figure of somebody white. And his eyes were like a flame of fire. You recognize people by their eyes. They look at you with eyes of love, eyes of anger, eyes of hatred, eyes of like the eyes, like a tunnel. You can't see the end. And his feet were like brass. And in his hand, he had seven stars. And when I saw him, I fell at his feet dead. You now, you die. And he laid his hand on me and said, Fear not. I am the first and the last. I am he that liveth and was dead. And behold, I am alive forevermore. So there's another vision of Jesus. Vision of the Lord. Do you want to have a vision of the Lord? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. It's going to change your life. Change everything about you. There is nobody who is a certain level in the ministry that doesn't have visions or dreams or some kind of supernatural encounter. If Just wait for the person to keep talking. You, you'll be surprised the person will come up with something. I was watching one man of God one time with a he has a big church and a white man and he was preaching and these points, point number one, point number two, point number three, point number four. So it like, looked like just like he's just he's teaching and so on. And one day I was somewhere else when there was a smaller group. Then he started to say the vision that he has had and how he was here and he had a dream and a vision. And he started to leave and go somewhere and he started to say, then I said, I'm always right about that. There's nobody who is doing great things the certain type of thing that the person hasn't had some kind of a vision or dream. Yes. There's always something like that. So, so you see, when I say we should pray that your eyes will be open, it's like your whole life is changing when your eyes open and you see what you are dealing with and you begin to see full of eyes, the Zoe's, the four Zoe's. Many people are becoming Zoe's, living creatures. Yes. Full of eyes. <laughs> yes. Do you want to see Jesus? Yes. I want to see Jesus. I prayed for a long time to see Jesus. I'm sure that day I saw him, but I didn't see his face. But I saw the white as wool. And I felt filthy. And that was the beginning of my, 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 my life and my ministry. The, the seventh day of the fast. At the back of the church. Yes. We had been, the, those who were good musicians had been sent to Nigeria. And those of us who were not chosen, we were left as prayer warriors to cover them in prayer. So we were covering them. But that was, that was my gift. Yes. Don't be worried if you are not featured. That may be the beginning of your real life and ministry. Every standing. We are praying for visions of the Lord. He said, I saw the Lord. The year King Uzziah died. We have a song about King Uzziah. Wow. That Uzziah, when he died, that's the time that Isaiah saw the Lord. Yes. We have a song about King Uzziah when he was reigning at 16. When he died, that guy, when he died, he reigned for about 50 years. When he died, Isaiah saw the Lord. Either on the day or died or the funeral. He saw the Lord. <laughs> he saw the Lord. And it changed his whole life. Yeah, that was chapter 6. It's Isaiah who said a son will be born. A son will be given. He said by his stripes we are healed. It was, it was the beginning of his ministry. Yes. It's one of the only things that Isaiah saw. The rest he spoke. He said the word of the Lord came. It's one of the only things that he saw. And he's the greatest, the most quoted prophet by Jesus and Paul. Yes. I saw the Lord. Holy hands, please. 
your eyes are opening in this special prayer time. Your ministry is changing. Your life is changing. Your apostolic ministry is being born. Kamalasa, Tomalanda, Ramandali, Shemendele Beke, Keremanda, La Barandali, the Vedele Vedele, the Vedele Vedele, Haleri Beke Barandale, Barinamala, the Vedele Vedele, Haraman, Balanam, Baridele, Baridole Medeshi de Levede, Edola Manda, Barala di Voledede, Hello Ramanda de 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 Hallelujah.